I refuse a lot. I'm 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 a little bit annoying. Oh, so met. Oh my god. Trying to cover a tribal <laughs> <laughs> with with a fine line flower. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I have refused the tattoo, but maybe people who are drunk. That's the only time that we kind of like do that. Oh, you can't get tattooed. You're too drunk. That's it. Uh, people come in saying, for example, I want to get a um, chicken wing on my butt. You know that you're gonna regret that tomorrow when you're sober. So that kind of stuff, you know that. A client did request for me to tattoo his taint, um, but you know after talking with him and what he wanted, he wanted initials of his lover. We don't tattoo initials of any lovers or partners. Regardless, he wasn't gonna get tattooed. I told him $2,000 and he walked out the door. Just the craziness of the fact that somebody would have to be in a happy baby pose while I tattoo him, it's all fucked up. I try to stay away from what I think is dumb because my name is <coughs> on it, you know, so I don't want any kind of feedback, bad feedback from it, so. Well, on today's day, I refuse mm, to do tribal tattoos. When I, the last time I did it, I, I think that I was falling asleep. Because <laughs> just doing this and this and this all over again, it's really boring. You know, uh, honestly, I'm dyslexic. I can't do lettering tattoos. I can't do them. So I, I refuse to do them because they're not going to turn out good. I, I may fuck it up. Generally, I would refuse to do face tats, especially on like younger guys or girls. True. Um, I almost always try to talk people out of doing hand tattoos if they're not already sleeved. Some people, they just walk in and say, oh, I want a face tattoo. Oh, I want a finger tattoo. I want a tattoo on my, uh, under my foot. Like, <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> or like these young couples who are like 18 and just got like related. Uh, a couple tattoos. Mm -hmm. And then they are like related since four months and they want to get like matching tattoos or most of the time only the girls want the matching tattoo, like a tattoo. They gotta but, do it but they'll be yeah. like I could cover it later, I just want to get They laid. only want the name of the boys and they're like, okay what are you doing? Like the, the boys, they never want to have a tattoo. They're like, I'm gonna wait, I'll wait. They're smarter actually. I won't tattoo your romantic partner's name on you under any circumstances. Um, I for a while was working with a women's shelter and all these women that were leaving these domestic domestic abuse situations had their that person's name on them it was almost too consistent so i made a decision that i wasn't going to do that anymore um and i won't do any hate symbols at all i've got a couple of people come in asking for nazi tattoos that they use like so Graphic so. design things that Nazis yeah, used to have. Yeah, like yeah. swastikas, like iron crosses, eagles. And I was like, I'm sorry, I can't do that. This is not something that I will do. For me, this is wrong, wrong for my beliefs. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. They don't think they are racist because like, they believe this is a good thing. This is the correct thing to do. Yeah. They, like they grew so, up on that or yeah. something. Yeah, so they don't be secretive about it. They just ask you to do it. The probably moral thing, like uh, if anything racist, yeah, like, uh, mm -hmm. and I tried not to do in religious tattoos, like uh, I'm like a uh, super atheist. Yeah. So if anybody wants like asking for cross from me, I'm like, uh, I'm the wrong guy. Like uh, I can do upside down, but. I try to not refuse tattoos. I'm pretty open because my tattoos are like fine line and small. But I definitely don't do like, you know, racist tattoos or something like some symbolic, weird symbology. Or for example, in Colombia, the people get the logo of their football team. I wouldn't do that. I don't like to do that. Um, for me, yeah, this guy he was trying to get like an angel on his ribs. <clears throat> and um, he was just really adamant about like, can she have her tits out? And I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Like, I'm not doing that, like what, I'm, I know. I'm, can she have her tits out? No. For me, a lot of tattoos that, uh, I guess recently, I have said no to are the writing on the side of the fingers in here. Yeah. Cause they, I mean, even if you're a good tattoo artist and you apply tattoos very well, it's just such a suspect spot. And there's nothing a tattoo artist hates more than having to do work he, know he's, he knows he's gonna have to touch up. Yeah. So I guess on basis for me, I would refuse most tattoos that I know aren't gonna last. Sure. 
Uh, lip tattoos. Lip tattoos. I have tattooed a couple lip tattoos and they never heal the way I want yeah. them to, so. I refuse to do tattoos that aren't going to stand the test of time. That's very important to me in tattooing. And uh, it comes from experience, you know. I've done tattoos that, uh, you know, when I was three, four years in that I've seen, you know, now 10 years into tattooing. And I'm like, oh man, you know, that red outline should have just been in black because that red doesn't age as well. So learning things have uh, made me realize that, you know, those awesome watercolor looking tattoos that people love, they have zero black, zero outlines, they're not gonna look that great in like five years. I don't like, me personally, I don't like doing face tattoos on young, like uh, people who are just starting to get tattooed. Just, you know, I don't want to say they mess up their life or their career, but I want them to think more into it, you know? Like if you're gonna, I, I, me personally, I don't even have face tattoos. Well, I got some like, something on my sideburns. Well, but I'm, I'm in the industry, you know? So it's like, and I'm not planning to go nowhere. I'm not planning to be a lawyer or anything like that. But um, I feel like at this modern day age, a lot of people at 18 are getting like face tats everywhere. And it's like, they don't think like, yeah, now you live with your mom and it's cool you got face tat, but in 30 years when you gotta pay your own damn bills and stuff like that, like, are, you know, if you're not rapping or you're not tattooing, like what are you really gonna do? Work at McDonald's with a face tat or something like that? And it's like, I, I, I don't wanna do face, unless you already have it. If you already have it, then I can add an extra one. But I don't wanna be the first one to like, damage you in a way, you know? This guy wants to get a tattoo of a tree and he wants a very specific tree and we do trees all the time so I wasn't really thinking much of it, um, but he was being really particular that the tree needed to be an exact replica of this other reference. Um, my assistant pulls me aside and she says like, hey girl, not sure you wanna do this. Um, it's heavily associated with this rapper whose values definitely don't align with yours and this is definitely the kind of thing that we normally just turn down immediately. I then let him know that, you know, I didn't, I just asked him like, hey, could you tell me about this tattoo? I don't really know what it means to you and I want to, you know, create a dialogue there. And he got immediately defensive, um, which I was like, okay, cool. So it's exactly what I thought it was and I'm not going to do it. Um, to which he was so angry and really upset. And like my assistant, you know, just said like, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna do that. And he just like insisted that he was like a feminist and a really good guy. And I was like, I'm sorry, but like a feminist and a really good guy just like doesn't align himself with not really good guys. So that would be a time when I've turned a tattoo down. I really try hard to steer people away from certain violent, more evil tattoos that might, you know, be a, a disservice to them. But I've still done a lot of really bizarre ones. I've done a lot of swastikas uh, in the past, but to, to, you know, just, there's a lot of good swastikas out there. They were a very uh, a deep and meaningful symbol long before the Nazis took them over. Having said that though, you know, I did say no to this one Beatles tattoo that I, I just didn't want to talk about the Beatles for, for six hours while I did the portraits. No offense to the Beatles, they're a wonderful band, but you know, it's like the, it sticks in your head, it gets annoying, like, I had to say no to it. Listening to that much Beatles was too much. This one recently came into Three Kings and uh, it's a favorite amongst us to talk about, but uh, this guy came in, he's like, hey, yo, can we? Can I get like a, a quote right across my eyebrow? And I'm like, I don't know, man, like, what are you, what are you thinking? And he's like, I wanna die. And I was just like, how about, like the suicide hotline instead, you know, build hope, really bridge the gaps between depression and, and living. Let's do that instead, buddy. Then it's like inside finger tattoos as well. Like I, I won't do those just because they don't stay. And even if you have one that stays, like you're you're one in a million, like just, I don't know. It, it, it always comes back to the artist. People think that we did a shitty job and we were very adamant about telling them you know, it doesn't stay, it's not It's not the greatest place to get a tattoo, so. I'd say about two years ago, I was at the Baltimore Tattoo Convention and um, there was this dude, he came by the booth and he was just pacing. And I, I stopped what I was doing for a second to, to go talk to him. I was like, hey, how's it going, blah, blah, blah. He's like, uh, I love your work, your work is really cool. Um, uh, I've been trying to get a tattoo where everyone's giving me a hard time, blah, blah, blah. and. Um, 
The dude wanted a uh, rocket on his penis, and I looked at him and told him I couldn't do it. And he's like, man, I really want you to do it, you know, you got really good work, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, I can't, so you gotta get out of here. The worst part about it is that I think it's gotta be hard while it's in your hand while you're tattooing that, and that's, that's, that's not fun. That doesn't sound like a fun activity. <laughs> So I'm French and people like having like French quotes or French words on themselves. And I had that girl that came one day and she wanted me to tattoo her rib. Mon cœur est belle, which is completely wrong in French because it's mon cœur est beau. So I'm like, you, you can't write that on you, it means nothing. So it means my heart is beautiful, which already I felt, okay, well, it's a strange thing to want to tattoo on yourself, but why not? But you cannot write it this way. And she was like, but that's how I want it. I'm like, but I'm French. I'm, I'm not going to tattoo something that's wrong on you and people are gonna make fun of you. And she was like, well, I love the way it sounds. And like, but this is ridiculous. I, I won't do it. I'm sorry, I won't do it. And she insisted so much. I'm like, well, we can just change it. Maybe my soul is beautiful. So if you like the specific word, belle, I can play around it. And it took like an hour and a half to convince her that mon âme est belle, so my soul is beautiful, was better than my heart is beautiful, and I couldn't believe that she was almost yelling at me that that's what she wanted. So like, but this is very wrong. <laughs> yeah. Let's like trust the French girl when we're like writing French on us and we don't speak French. Yeah. <laughs>